Hey there, we're back. So, the most powerful Mafia clans are those that have woven many ties over the years and have managed to gain prestige. In the Ndrangheta, there are many Koska that meet these requirements, such as Ciccio Pesce. Now, the Pesce Ndrina has its nucleus of operations in Rosarno, but its influence extends throughout the province of Reggio Calabria, the region and even in northern territories such as Milan. Francesco Pesce, also known as Ciccio, was a young boss who inherited the great power of his clan thanks to his skills and the favour of his father Antonio. He was arrested in 2011 thanks to Operations Crime and All Inside, but his career was fruitful and bloody and led his family to gain more power and wealth. Ciccio Pesce was born on January 21, 1978 in Gioia Tauro. The young man is the eldest son of boss Antonino Pesce, year 1953, who was in prison during his son's rise. Antonino was a leading figure in the Pesci clan in the Ndrangheta, and according to statements by a turncoat, was one of the three points of the star, along with Giuseppe Piromali and Luigi Mancuso. And we have videos on these two Ndrangheta heavyweights that you should definitely check out. So Ciccio managed to gain power mainly through the approval of his father, who sent a letter to his mother urging Francesco's family and siblings to respect him and follow his decisions, thus naming him the successor in leadership. In the letter, Antonino specified that his son would think of the whole family and they all needed to follow his instructions. And Ciccio does just that. His young age doesn't make him any less dangerous and cunning, and he becomes a true alter ego of his very powerful father. Known as Ciccio Testuni, Francesco has no particular need to make his way, since at his command is the powerful Rosarno clan, which has numerous affiliates. Operation Crimine by the DDAs of Reggio Calabria in Milan led to the arrest of as many as 300 Mafia affiliates and some information that emerged through the investigation suggests that the number of people linked to the clan was much greater. During a wiretap, the presence of 500 affiliates was detected in the Rosano area alone. According to law enforcement officials, Ciccio wished to gain prestige and consensus, which is why he decided to insert himself into the amateur soccer sector, meddling and controlling the Sapri and the Rosanesi Calcio clubs. Both clubs would later be seized by the DDA because it was determined that there was Ndrangheta influence in the clubs. The Pesci family is known as one of the most powerful Ndrangheta families. Its territory of influence is southern Calabria, but also northern cities such as Milan. It's divided into about 30 locales and many Ndrini in its service. The most lucrative activities carried out by the Pesce have their main centre in Gioia Tauro, drug trafficking, control of agricultural markets and of course extortion. The power also extends outside Italy and according to law enforcement investigations they've ties to German, French, Greek, Lebanese and even Austrian crime. Since the early 2000s, Italian justice has been engaged in law enforcement operations that led to the arrest of ringleader Salvatore Pesce and 54 other affiliates. Thanks to the decision of a woman in the Pesci family, Giuseppina, to cooperate with justice and the all-inside and crimine operations, numerous affiliates were arrested and assets worth tens of millions were seized. Ciccio also does not escape law enforcement raids, and on August 9, 2011, he's found and arrested in an underground bunker in Rosano. The shelter was located in the yard of the Demol Sud Company and was 40 square metres in size. It consisted of a kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, not much else. The boss, captured by the Carabinieri from the Provincial Command and ROS of Reggio Calabria and the Squadroni Eliportato Cacciatori. Ciccio Pesce is intent on burning message notes at the time of his arrest. He doesn't show agitation but remains calm and silent. He knew he was being hunted. And that's precisely why he was trying to dispose of his messages. They were the ones that betrayed him in part because law enforcement officers were able to see his exact location thanks to smoke coming out of a small bottleneck in the company premises. Francesco Pesce was the boss of a powerful and ambitious clan that picked up his father's legacy and brought his family even more influence in Calabria, Italy and many other countries around the world. So, yet another fascinating and dangerous character in the Italian underworld brought to justice. So we've lots more videos coming, so please don't forget to click that subscribe button and don't forget to tell others about the channel, and we do appreciate it. So, until next time, ciao.